What, if any, issues did Boo have with uh, bathroom problems, if you will? Objection leading and relevance. Overruled, I love it. Um, she had eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy and had uh, bowel control issues for her entire life, among some other issues. She was, you know, we re regularly had to take her to the vet to try to figure out, well, what was wrong with this dog? Um, never met a dog that was quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues, hence uh, why we would, she liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the f foot of the bed underneath the covers. And it was um, customary that they slept in bed with us, but Boo, having the issue she had, we have to leave her in bed so that she wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too. But, um, but yeah. So what, if anything, did you notice uh, about any bathroom issues in your bed before you left for Coachella? Well, but Raquel and I were both in, in that bed um, with the dogs and I didn't notice anything, but we left them in the bed while we packed a bag to go to Coachella, you know, so that they didn't, so that Boo particularly didn't lose control for about, or, you know, didn't go to the bathroom on the floor. So you leave them in bed until you're ready to take them outside to the patio, which is their designated bathroom break area. And what, if any, plans were there? How often did you have housekeeping at that time at your house? Um, the housekeepers were there every morning. Okay. Or they came every day, as far as I know. Okay. Now, we'll, we'll get you to Coachella, but why did you tell Starling Jenkins that you had been involved in a prank gone wrong? Objection. Hearsay leading. I said why, Your Honor. I didn't say what she said. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Um, did you commit any kind of prank? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. And, and why would that not be something you would do? First of all, I, I don't think that's funny. I don't know what a grown woman does. I, I, I was not also in a pranking mood. I had, my life was falling apart. I was um, at a crossroads in my life that was really serious, and I had just been attacked on my 30th birthday by my violent husband with whom I was desperately in love and knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny, period. That's disgusting. And what, if any, uh, understanding did you have of Mr. Depp coming back to your bedroom that night or the next morning? Objection, culture, speculation. I I'm asking what her understanding was. No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Did you, had you had any conversations with Mr. Depp about him coming back to the house the next day? No, Johnny didn't come back to that house. That was my, that was my, you know, he owned it, but that was my house when, when we were having any sort of problem. In fact, that was my house just 90% of the time because he just didn't come back. That was not a place that Johnny was going to be in, that Johnny was in, and he had stormed out on my birthday. And as per what we did, it was, he would go and stay at his West Hollywood home, and I would stay at the downtown places. He wasn't going to come back to the Jackson calls for speculation. I think she explained her answer on that okay. one. Which I'll she sustain thought. just the last part. Okay. okay. Next question. Thank you. All right. So let's take you to Coachella. Um, who drove? I drove. Okay. And who was in your vehicle? My sister, my friend Savannah, I believe, my best friend Raquel, just my, my girlfriends. I, I typically surround myself with my girlfriends. It's my sport. Was there any occasion in which you were riding in the vehicle that Starling Jenkins was driving? He picked us up from Coachella in the evening when we, as a group, all were ready to leave. Um, that was the um, the day that we went, which was a um, which was a day that I took MDMA and mushrooms at the same time. So realized very shortly after what a horrible idea that was, considering the state that my life was in. I highly don't recommend that combination at the time. So I didn't feel like being in a crowd. I didn't feel like being at Coachella. I had intended to try to have a good time, despite what was going on in my personal life and I realized that that was just not going to happen and so I wanted to go home I wanted meaning to be in a bed I wanted to be you know I just wanted to be held by my best friend and watch a movie and that's what we did I didn't feel well and wanted to leave okay. and when you said you rode back with Starling Jenkins was it just you or did you have other people in the vehicle with you and when we left Coachella, it was my entire group. I wasn't ever alone with Starling. I certainly wasn't anywhere near him. I didn't have a conversation with him. I sat in the very back seat with my best friend next to me, and it was a whole group of us. Thank you. Um, you're on this. I, I don't okay. know. Which, this might be a good breaking. Point. All right, that's fine. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and take our morning uh, recess.